What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is mark read or unread. So what this action allows you to do is automatically read or mark as unread an email in your inbox. So this could be if you get so many emails coming in, maybe you want to filter them into different folders or move them around a little bit. You want to mark them as red so you don't get that constant look of uh, emails um, saying like, you know, one in this folder, 10 in this folder, 20 in this folder. You can just kind of mark them all as red and then do whatever you want to them. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in Power Automate. I have my flow here and I've got a trigger for when an email arrives at V3. So I'm going to click on new step and then I'm going to search Office 365 uh, Outlook. That's all we want. And we'll scroll down until we get to mark uh, mark as read or unread v2. So from here we need two things. Um, or sorry, we need one thing. We just need the message ID. So in this instance, I'm going to get it from my trigger. So I'm just going to put in some dynamic content and put message in here. We can find message ID, and that's the content we want. We also have an option for original mailbox address. So this is if you're using a shared mailbox and you want to look and find an email in that mailbox. You can specify in here. I don't have a shared mailbox. It's just going to drop into my email box. So I'm just gonna use, so I'm just gonna leave that blank. And then the last option is mark as. So we can mark this as read or unread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send an email to myself and then we are going to mark it as unread automatically. So we'll choose that for now and we'll hit test. So I'll perform the trigger action. We'll hit test. We'll flick over to my uh, to my emails here. And we see I've got an email queued up to send over to them. And I can click on send and open up my emails quickly. And we can see I've got a um, Here's my mailbox at the moment. The message from the email should come into my mailbox in a few seconds and that should trigger the flow. Once the flow is triggered, it should mark the email as read automatically. So we can see it comes in, it's got that green line on the left, which means that it is uh, currently read, or sorry, currently unread. Uh, and when the flow triggers and runs, it should mark it as unread. So if we'll go back to the flow, it says it's, it's run successfully. Uh, so it says, oh, mark is unread. That was the wrong way around. We should mark it as read. Uh, sorry. Let's try again. Let's click on test. Uh, we'll use the previous run. Click on save and test. And we'll just go back to the email. And we can see it automatically gets marked as, as read there. The little green line has disappeared from it. If I do the same thing again and mark it as read, which is what I should have done the first time, uh, we'll click on test. Uh, again, we'll run from that previously run test and we'll flick over to the emails quickly and hopefully if that's running, there we go, you can see it marking as red. So this has a lot of um, a lot of uses for people that are kind of perfectionists or people that don't like those notification numbers. I know sort of when I come back from holiday and I see like a list of like, you know, 50 unread emails, that's kind of daunting. So maybe you could use this for maybe you're out of office and say, hey, look, I'm not going to... Um, be reading any emails uh, when I get back uh, because I'll come back to like 5,000. So I'm just going to mark all these as read and then when I get back then my inbox is, is easier to manage. Um, or I could mark them as read and then move them to a folder um, or like, you know, shuffle them into a folder just so that again we don't get these notification numbers. So you can see here I've got 427 emails here, 18 deleted items. I always hate these numbers. They never really fill me with joy. I tend to every now and again just go through and just mark everything as read. So this would actually help me out a lot. Like when an email comes in, I can mark it as read uh, and there I don't have the numbers, I don't have that notification. Um, similarly, you can mark things as unread. So if you move it to a certain folder, which where again, you may need to do some action on that folder, you can mark it as, as unread and therefore it can flag up and see that there's a, a thing to do. I work on a zero inbox policy, so anything that's in my inbox I deal with, then I move it out of my inbox and try and maintain that zero number. So that's what I try to do, that's the way I use my inbox, but how do you use it uh, and do you think you would use a action like this? Let me know in the comments down below what you use this for, if you may use it, if you may not use it. Is it 
completely pointless to you in the way you work, let me know. I want to know how you work. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with a friend, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.